How's it going my friends? Back with another video today. I just wanted to talk about something that I was thinking about. Actually Sarah and I were having a conversation about earlier. Um, and this came up in a conversation that we were having about how we're going to expand our business and just, you know, basically keep growing things and what has been working and what hasn't in all the different aspects and areas that we've been, you know, pursuing in the wedding industry. Obviously, we're, you know, Sarah and I, our main core business is wedding photography, but we also, um, Sarah has split off and also started offering, offering floral designs and, um, you know, servicing customers that way. So what we do is if somebody wants to book us for photography and florals, Sarah will do the florals, I'll do the photography. We give them a discounted rate because there's only one shooter on the photography side. And then we also, you know, collect, obviously, we get paid for the florals. Um, so overall, we're getting paid more and we're doing two separate jobs that, you know, we'd still be working the wedding with two photographers, but now she's going to be splitting off and doing one thing and I do the other. And it's really kind of created a new angle of growth in our business. And we were talking about just the industry and how things have been changing and where things are going. And, you know, I really want you guys, I want to hear from you guys about this because we're kind of stuck in between like a, a both sides of the, the story and both sides of the arguments on this side. I, for one, think that the photography industry as we know it is dying. Um, and that doesn't mean that photography is going to go away, obviously. And But I just feel like the old way of doing things is definitely dying off and things are changing dramatically with the advent of new technology social media being connected all the time uh, brands moving online and you know clients wanting things online into a wider audience it's changed things significantly so you know it used to be back in the day and, and some of you old heads that have been in this for a while you guys know this definitely back in the day us as photographers we were kind of treated like magicians we were super special we could create things that people were like super um you know just thrilled by and we were seen as like really talented artists and it made a lot of photographers actually get kind of big heads about their work and they thought that uh, not everybody obviously but a lot of them thought that they were just something really really special and you know could produce this work and, and you know they really were because not a lot of people could do that back in the day we used to have cameras you know dslrs and before that film uh, complicated flash systems wires everywhere things were a lot slower and a lot more methodical and you really had to plan things out in order to and really know what you were doing before you sh got the shot in order to get the shot uh, you couldn't just run and gun uh, very very talented people could you know do a wedding or do a commercial photo shoot or do a model shoot or, or a product shoot it was only the talented people that could do that you couldn't just pick up a camera like you could nowadays and go out and start cranking out images things have changed though dramatically Nowadays, camera technology has gotten so good that you can really just pick up a camera. You don't have to know anything about like the triangle of exposure. You can just get a mirrorless camera and just if it looks good in the EVF, you're good to go. A lot of these cameras in most lighting situations, you can just jack your ISO up and then the photos are good enough to use online. You don't have to know much about flash. You can watch tutorials online and pretty much get good within a very short amount of time. So the idea that a photographer is like see for me let me just back up for a second for me i never thought i was special i never thought that just because i had a camera in my hand or i was creating something i i never thought i was special at anything i just i've always had the humility with me that hey creativity i don't believe it comes from me i believe it comes from somewhere else and i'm just kind of a conduit and I just am, I have inspiration that comes from somewhere else and I can kind of just get lucky and crank out good images, you know, and I seem to be able to do it over and over again. But I don't think that has a lot to do with me. I think it has to do a lot with other things and I just have a, an air of humility about it. I don't think I'm really something special. So walking around with that attitude nowadays is so like pretty it's stupid to me because most people can go out and pick up a camera and get really good at it within a very short amount of time and then just step into a commercial industry where they're actually making money 
Yes, there's absolutely cream of the crop, high level photographers that will never change, that are very, very extremely cutting edge, doing things that are pushing boundaries. And those people always will be sought out and always have business. But I think that people now need to realize that the game has changed to where there's more people that can do this and we're really not that special, guys. Photography is itself taking photos. It's not that difficult to go online and find somebody's portfolio and figure out how to do that stuff and all of a sudden you got a style that you're just basically grabbing off the internet or, or grabbing from somebody else. You know, if you have an eye and you have half a brain, you can break down these shots and you can get these, um, you know, spectacular, like cool different poses. Yeah, they're not your own ideas, but the clients don't know that. You know, a lot of these people are just looking for a certain type of image and they don't care if you're ripping the idea off somebody else or if you did it yourself. They, they could care less. I've never, ever been asked hey, where did you get that idea from? They just always assume it's me. You know what I mean? And 99% of the time, Sarah and I do come up with our own stuff, but it doesn't mean we don't get inspired. But the point is, is I've never had somebody ask me, hey, you know, did you get that idea from somebody else? Or where did that idea come from? They, they, the customers don't care. All they care about is the, the last output, final output. So the way it's changing in my eyes today is not only do you have like the the good pictures are almost a secondary thing. Like people just expect if you say you're a photographer, people just expect that you're going to have good pictures right off the bat. And the other stuff that separates you now is really how much customer service you can bring, how much of a, a um, an a, a identity with a brand that you can bring and how much the experience is gonna be fun for them. And now I know that these things were important back in the day, but they're not, they weren't as important as they are now because back in the day, you could have unbelievable work and you could know technically how to work a camera and how to get the technical shots, but you could really be a prick and have a terrible attitude. People would still hire you. You know, the experience could be frustrating and that could be the friction point in working with you. But, you know, back in the day, if you were good and you were the only person or, you know, limited people that could get that shot, you'd still get hired. Nowadays, there's like 50 other people in your area that can do that stuff. But how are you going to separate yourself out? Well, the way that you separate yourself out and the way that Sarah and I have been able to like stand out in our area and become like super, super sought after is the experience, the way that people feel when they're working with us, the way that we make them feel on the wedding day, our personalities, our engaging, you know, the way that we engage them in the whole process from when we book somebody right to the end. You know, we just, like I, we got a new client uh, yesterday, they signed the contract today or this morning. And, uh, you know, from the time that we responded to them all the way to when they, you know, signed the contract today, it's been a, uh, coddling. We coddle them. And the experience is is good from the beginning. We email back extremely fast. Like with, I'm talking within like 20 minutes. When we get an email, even if we're on site shooting a wedding, uh, we're checking our phones. If the emails come in, we say, hey, we're on a wedding right now. We'll get right back to you. Thanks for reaching out. We always have extreme communication right from the beginning. We're always positive. We're always engaging. And we're always in like a mode of customer service. You would not believe how many photographers are not doing this right now. It's crazy. Like Sarah and I had our uh, family photos taken with the kids and everything last uh, summer. And we contacted about eight photographers who didn't even respond back or took days to respond back. The, so like the experience was bad right off the beginning. I think guys that you need to understand that the actual taking photos is not the most important thing nowadays. It's really not. And that's, you know, you could be upset with that or, you know, you could disagree with me and I'd love to hear it. But I don't think that the taking photos is the most important thing now. I think that the whole customer service experience is the only way that you're going to set yourself away. And apart from all the 50 million other people who just pick up, picked up a camera eight months ago and they're already trying to go out and do weddings or book clients or, you know, do commercial shoots or whatever. I think that things are changing the old way of photography and the business is dying off um, and we're going to see a new version of where you're going to, you cannot rely just on photos. You have to rely on other dynamic aspects of your business, brand, customer experience, user experience, um, just the whole process from beginning to end of working with you to set yourself apart, 
nowadays rather than, hey, I can just take good photos. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. I know this is just a quick video to kind of just get your thoughts going, but I love talking to you guys and having the community aspect of where we're all like chopping it up and coming up with different ideas. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hey, really appreciate the videos like always, guys, and uh, happy shooting.